Hey everyone, Abe, Blue Peak Networks and DailyIncomeNetworks.com. Uh, if you've seen my video on Craigslist training, how to post on Craigslist advanced marketing techniques, we talked there about how to post on Craigslist, um, maximizing your exposure, maximizing the exposure of your ads, while at the same time minimizing the amount of flagging and ghosting that's happening on your ads. We talked about a broader strategy as to how to make that happen. And then we got down to a, a more tactical level and talked about some practical practical applications uh, of different posting uh, approaches and techniques. And what I wanted to do for this video is show you all that in action. We had, there were some specific tools that we're using in order to implement the techniques that we discussed in that video. I'll put the link to that video if you haven't watched it um, here uh, in the description. Um, but I, I'll recommend for you to watch that video uh, and then come to this one and see see it all uh, come together, see it all in action. So let's get started. I was posting now and I thought, you know, I'll just go ahead and make a video so you guys can see it all happening uh, in action. So uh, I'll show you real quick the tools in that video. That's uh, This is the one that we were uh, I made and posted earlier. And uh, so go watch this one on this one in slide number 20. Um, we talked about some tools of the marketing trade. So uh, hidemyass.com uh, is an IP changer. We're going to be using that right now. I'll show you guys how to do it. PBAspot.com, that's where we get the temporary numbers in order to create several accounts in several cities. At this point, what I'm going to do is I've already created several accounts. I started to build out a list for me to start posting. So I'll show you kind of what that looks like. This is also going to give you an idea of how to go about it, how to be efficient when you're using Craigslist and posting. It's it's a, a lot of your activity is going to uh, get better when you learn to be very efficient on Craigslist. So let's get uh, let's get into it. So the very first thing that I do, and we discussed uh, uh, some of these things in the previous video and in the training video. What the very first thing that I'm going to do before I get start start working is go to CCleaner. And we talked about that in the last one, how to do, um, I'll go ahead and put the links back on this uh, video as well. You're gonna download, this is for free. Whenever, you, before you get started on posting, before I get into one of my Craigslist accounts, I'm going to run this cleaner. This is going to uh, erase temporary internet files and history cookies, anything that'll give away our location. We wanna just uh, start from a clean slate. So this is the very first step. Once this is done, uh, you know, this you'll see everything that's been removed and we're ready to go. So the second thing that we're going to use, I'm going to get over to uh, the hidemyass.com, uh, the hidemyass, the HMA software that will um, change our IP address. So I'm going to go over here to the left hand side and and maximize this for a second this is a spreadsheet that i use so in that craigslist training video we talked about this approach this is um a list of cities that i'm working on it's incomplete still uh, i just started started putting it together but each of these cities you can post uh I, i'm i've created two accounts in each of these cities so my uh today is uh monday so i have a monday section here this column is going to post every 48 hours. So this column is posting here today. Then it's, I'm going to post in the same accounts on Wednesday, then again on Friday. And then the second account, so Oklahoma City, uh, Oklahoma, then I have, and then I have the second account for Oklahoma City. I'm going to post in that tomorrow. So it's just going to go like that, and we're going to be alternating every 48 hours. So I already did Oklahoma City. I'm going to Albuquerque, New Mexico. So let me just minimize this. And I keep this on the side just like this. That way I just work down um, until I'm done. So uh, my next one is Albuquerque. So I'm going to go over here. This is the Hide My Ass uh, software. I pick Albuquerque, New Mexico out of this list. And I hit Connect to VPN. So you'll see what happens here. It'll go ahead and connect and give you give me a notification once I am connected. <clears throat> I won't open Craigslist until I'm connected to the Albuquerque server. Okay, so now it says here connected, successfully connected. And 
One thing you can do, and just to give us an idea here, if I go here uh, to the HMA software and the IP address settings, if I go verify IP address, it'll open up on a different page, a different page and look up the IP address from my computer. Now I'm in New York. But when you look at my IP address now, it'll say I'm in Albuquerque. And you'll see that here. That being done, now I'm going to go ahead and go into Craigslist and open up my account. So I, the way I set up this spreadsheet here is I have, I know what city I'm going to, I know what email I used, it's already been verified, ready to go, ready to post. Uh, I think I just started using this one, so I won't have too much going on here. But uh, so I'll go ahead and go to Albuquerque, New Mexico. And I'll get signed in. Now, here's one thing that I recommend for you guys. Um, let me just minimize this. Is the hide my ass software will slow your internet connection down? It depends. Sometimes it's it's faster, or sometimes it gets slower. Sometimes if it's if it's really really slowing up on you guys quite a bit, then what I do is I have other sheets open. Um, I don't want to sit around and wait for wait for the internet connection to speed up or connect. So what I do is I end up if it's taking too long for me to open up here. I'm going to go here and start writing ads, start improving the ads that I have here. So the setup that you see here is I have the spreadsheet here on the left hand side. On the right hand side, I have my ads. So here I'm, I'm ready just to copy and paste over into Craigslist. So it looks like it's being OK right now. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and I'm going to open up. So I go to bq.855 and I'm going to sign in. So uh, I, again, a, a lot of it has to do with just efficiency, just being very efficient. Um, so here we go. So we're looking pretty good here. We had one that was deleted here. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is we're, we're already into our account here. Um, and by the way, we can renew all these as we go. This really doesn't count against our posting. Sometimes it'll, they'll give us some trouble. I don't recommend renewing, renewing every single one. But uh, I'll renew a couple at a time. But right now, let's just go ahead and start posting. So you're just going to go right here to go. New posting in Albuquerque. Go. It'll open up there. And again, um, it's best to be as efficient as possible, especially with the HMA software. That'll slow you down a little bit. So I go to job offered. And this says you have to abide by these guidelines. Well. I go to sales. I, I tend to have the most success in sales, but um, you know, you know, kind of bounce around. And what I do again is, is you know, if it's if I'm posting in sales, then I got to make sure that my ad is kind of geared in that way. Obviously, like in this ad, for example, it says data typing. Now, if I put this ad in here, it's going to get flagged almost immediately. Uh, business development. I almost don't even want to use that term anymore. I, I I just get flagged every single time I use that. So I'm gonna go associate here. Um, and stuff like this. Like this says no selling, no element, no uh, MLM, no door to door. I'm not gonna want to use no selling when I'm posting in sales because it just doesn't make sense. And, and so that's the kind of thing you have to watch out for. So let's just go ahead and first get the first one. I'm going to rip the title, control C, control V. Use the, the shortcuts on your keyboard instead of kind of clicking around on your mouse. Control C, control V. Then I'm going to go over here and just clean this up because when you paste it, it kind of gets a little funky. So I'm just going to clean this up. I'm going to create a border at the top. This makes the, the ad pop out a little bit. Make sure everything looks good. See, this was spaced out here, and it lost the space when I pay, when I spa when I pasted it. So I'm just gonna make sure everything looks good. It's all spaced out, easy to read. I'm gonna create some more border at the bottom of the ad to separate it from the text that goes, that you'll see at the bottom of the ads. All right, so that looks good. Um, <clears throat> I've started to put, um, depending on experience here, just to kind of switch it up. Let's go ahead and post. Um, 
images. I started to do kind of different things. Uh, let me get over to my desktop. And then I have a file already here ready to go with a bunch of images that I can use. So um, I'm going to see if I can use, you know, stuff like this one here. I just don't like to use anymore. Anything with a keyboard seems to get flagged right away now. So I, I don't really like to use it. Um, another thing that I've done is just get sort of, again, general. Um, the website that I use that takes you to my capture page is bluepeaknetworks.com. So I just have a file that's called Blue Peak. Uh, and that's it. Just kind of keep it simple. I mean, uh, and another thing I've been doing is doing stuff that are just random. So, you know, it, you know, just kind of random, even kind of silly type of things. I mean, I, some people say don't do it, but you know, whatever, I don't, um, you know, or stuff like this, for example, I'm not going to use this one because I think I already used it, you know, like that. I mean, that's fine. So I'm going to see what else I got here. And obviously you don't want to spend this much time. I'm spending, I'm spending too much time here. But um, just to kind of give you some ideas. <clears throat> um, but uh, you can do, you know, stuff like this. You know, pretty, let's use, go ahead and use that one. So, okay, we're done. That's our ad. Looks good. Bluepeaknetworks.com. Um, if you don't know how to make these bold, let me let me know. It's just, they're just basically HTML tags that you use, um, and they basically look like this. You just put these tags like this, right before, right after, and this will make it into a heading, uh, a larger heading. So that'll kind of increase the uh, the size of the the text. So I'm happy with that. I'll go ahead and, pu and um, publish. And again, if, if, it, if it, this is taking too long to go, then always, always, always immediately go into something else and start working, start writing ads. You're never done writing ads. Like this is a whole list of ads that I have just ready to go and post. You're never really done with this. You're constantly writing ads, constantly working on your ads. Looking at the word, at the wording, making sure that that it's as effective as possible. Um, so you you always have work to do uh, when you're waiting for stuff to post. Um, so always always have your window open, ready to go, ready to work, ready to write some more ads. So this is done. I'm gonna just go back to my account here. Uh, I have some more work to do here, but I'm gonna log out just to show you guys how to wrap it up. So again, I, if I was going to go on to another city, I'm going to close everything out. I'm going to log out. Um, I'm going to go back to hide my ass, the hide my ass um, software. I'm going to disconnect. Going to get ready to connect onto another city. Um, but before I do that, again, I'm going to run my cleaner. Once this is done, I'm, I'm ready to go to the next city. So again, I got two more ads to go back and put, put on Albuquerque, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea, see it all in action, see it all coming together. Uh, and here, now that I'm, I'm done with cleaning my temporary internet files and cookies, I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go post some more. Stay tuned for another one. We're gonna just keep adding, uh, I think, videos to this series because there's a lot to talk about. There's gonna do more on how to write really good ads, you know, the wording that you guys are using uh, is going to make a big difference. Uh, again, we're going to be talking about software, uh, automation software. Just to give you guys an idea, we talked about it in the Craigslist video. The next one that I'll do it will be on the automation, um, automation software. And all day today, as I've been working, making videos and posting, um, I have software that's working in the background that's posting ads for me. Here's one, for example, posting for me on backpage.com. So I've been working on Craigslist, making videos, posting, and yet this is today's date here. This is 10.35 p.m., 10.32. So as I've been making this video, I'm also posting all these ads, let alone what, uh, what I've done on Craigslist. So if you look at the times here, this is today. This software has been posting for me on backpage.com 
in different cities all over the country, all over the world, all day long. So this is 2.32 p.m. Let's see how far this goes back. 138, 12, this is noon, 11, 10, uh, 9, 18 uh, a.m. is I think about where I started. So this has been posting all day long. And talk about maximizing your exposure and, and really duplicating your efforts. Um, you can only do so much on your own. You have to get into uh, automation. Um, and I, I have a really fantastic product that I use um, that's doing this that you see here. I'll get into more of that um, on the next video. Um, but for now, uh, go ahead and hit, hit like, share the video, guys. I appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, leave some comments for me, I, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks.